good morning. <laughs> We're about to head out for theoretically an 11 mile run and David is completing his PT prescribed warm up exercises behind me. <laughs> We're hoping this works. So here we are. I think we're at what three? Three and a third. Fish. You know, we said it before. You know, running uh, helps us eat and drink. <laughs> and that's all I'm thinking about right now is what we're gonna eat and drink later. But we do it for our health as well, you know. Yeah. The thing is, today we really didn't feel like running. Yeah. We, I mean, were, we say that a lot, but seriously, today, it's like, do we have to? Yeah. And I think part of it is. You know, we're trying to take care of some pains here and there, you know. We've been doing PT and stuff, but hurting is not fun. And I think that kind of has it down a little bit. Yeah. But we're doing it. Yeah. Just like two more hours to go. Oh, and then food and drink. Here's a, here's a portion of the run that I like to refer to as entering Fangorn Forest. It's pretty creepy. It does, huh? When you really pay attention to it. Hey, anybody know the source of that? You have plenty of books and or movies to choose from. Here's what it looks like. It's a really tough hill. It's the worst. Yay for PT. Yeah. Still the worst. Yeah. Ooh. Is it going? Yeah. All right. Two and a half miles left. Less than two and a half miles. Left. Really? Yeah. Wow. Uh huh. It hasn't been that bad. As little as we wanted to get out here today. Yeah, that's true. It's not that bad. So how are you feeling? Um, I'm starting to get pretty tired, um, and I have a few little aches and pains there, here yeah. and there. Like but what? Uh, like my butt, my like top of my hamstring. Because my PT is working my hamstring now. Uh, my ankle a little bit, but that's just. Running eight and a half miles. You? Yeah, I was going okay. About half a mile back, my left hip started hurting. I know. Yeah. Okay. And, I don't know. My knees are like sore. Eight and a half miles. Yeah. Okay. So you know, a little less than two and a half to go, and then it's party Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Party! Bring on the food and drink. And we'll have a quick recap for you, too. Uh, right after we let you know that we finished. Yeah. 
We did it, 11. Yay. Here's a quick recap coming right at you. Ooh, wow. <laughs> hey, so ah. there was uh, glimpses of our 11 mile run today. Ooh, we did it. We did. And as is the uh, trend lately, we didn't feel like no, we really didn't. We need to kind at of figure, We need to figure knock it off. Yeah. yeah. So I'm really looking forward to next week, though. Why? It's shorter. Hard. Yeah, it's shorter. <laughs> so, yeah. so, um, ask us how we're feeling. Better now. Yeah. I'll say. Yeah. You first. Okay. So when we got to the park, first of all, we were we were kind of dragging our feet around the house. It was cold. It was it, really it, cold was this cold. morning when we woke up. It was like 27 degrees. So it was the high yesterday. Get this. The high yesterday was 61, but that was at midnight. It was at like midnight the night before. It was actually 37 degrees all day yesterday. Oh, yeah, all day long. Until it got dark and then it got even colder. Yeah. So it was like 27 yeah. when we woke up. Yeah. And by the time we got Millie out for a walk, it was 34 or 35. Yeah. And we dressed appropriately. We I put on my long running pants. Yeah. Um, a long sleeve shirt, windbreaker, all that. Well, by the time we got back from her thirty minute walk, yeah. it was it was, it was like a lot warmer. But you know the sun the sun's beating down yeah. on it for long enough and you get more warm. So we changed. So we changed. Uh I went crop pants, uh and short sleeve shirt, you went short sleeve, short sleeve shirt. shirt. And so we went to the park and it was ten o'clock by the time we got there. We really we spent like half our day. Yeah. running today honestly i didn't even check it was it was about 10 o'clock and we sat in the car for several minutes yeah. trying to psych ourselves up yeah. to get out there and run for two and a half hours yeah. although yeah it was two it was almost exactly two and a half hours so um we got out we didn't really expect to make it the full 11 just yeah. because i don't know i mean well and we're also a little concerned with um yeah. just the way we've been feeling uh, your back, your hip flexor, your glutes. My, everything. And then everything my, in this general region yeah, is hurting. My knees and uh, my back. Mm -hmm. and, and PT has been, physical therapy has been great. Awesome. Getting a lot of really great instruction and overview. And it, it you know, talk about mentally helping us because mm -hmm. somebody who knows what they're doing is... Mm -hmm. Uh, telling us what to do. Um, yeah. but, and we can feel some of the um, yeah. adjustments. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. We can feel yeah. that the work that we're doing is making a difference. Yeah. But that doesn't mean we want to go run for two hours on a lovely day like today. Right. Man, we, but sound we did like, it. sound like a couple of complainers. Yeah, I know. I we're know. not complaining. We're just complaining. <laughs> but we did it. We did, we did it. it. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, so once we started going, about... When we were about to hit our turnaround point, um, I was like, you know, I don't want to jinx us. And then after that, I started to like, you know, poop out a little bit. Oh, but man. I was like, man, I'm feeling really good. You know, we we ran almost the whole thing. We only really took walk breaks when we were eating a snack. Yeah. Um, so in that sense, that was like, I don't think we mentioned this last week, but we ended up walking like the last mile of our run last week just yeah. because we our, were like. Yeah, our eight mile we last done. week. We did kind of walk the last Yeah, mile we slowed down quite a bit towards the end. But this one, we first of all, we added three miles to it. Mm -hmm. So we went from 8 to 11. Mm -hmm. And then we actually had a pretty good time. We ended up with an average of like a 13-something minute mile, mm -hmm. which is our total normal pace pretty, for pretty a long good. run. Pretty, so. good. pretty good considering, too, that we, we've kind of changed the way we're moving mm -hmm. uh, because we have been doing things that are helping us kind of balance out uh, you mm -hmm. know, not favoring one side and, yeah. and, you know, trying to keep a better form. Um, and I remember doing my knee braces. Yay. This time. So <laughs> yeah, we, we did it and, and we feel great about it. We feel great about it. We didn't feel great when we got home. I, my, my main 
My next big running goal is to not feel like utter garbage the minute I stop running on a longer distance. Something happens like running, totally fine, do, 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 I feel fine. Yeah. Like five minutes after I stop running, I want to throw up. I've got this like cement mixer thing going on in my stomach and I just, it's awful. And I've got to figure it out. I today, think need... our fuel wasn't good enough. Yeah, it wasn't. We didn't have enough fuel today. Because we were like, oh, we're only running 11. It's not like we're running a marathon. And I didn't really feel like making the oatmeal balls. And we don't have any potatoes, so we couldn't do that. So we just did jelly bellies and pretzels. That wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. We should have bought a pizza and left it in the back Dang seat. it. Yes. And then when we got in the car. Next time. Then, yeah. We'll do that next time. Okay, next time. <laughs> I was thinking there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's the deal. Uh, next week we begin tapering off. It's a shorter <clears throat> run, so we're gonna go out to that uh, park uh, that has the donkeys, and hopefully get to show you yeah. uh, donkeys. Hopefully they're out. And, and then the following weeks, an even shorter run because no. then the no no the following week is the half the following week is the half marathon. Oh, let's let's rewind. <laughs> The following week after our short run is the half marathon in Fredericksburg. So, and then the following week after that, yes, we go to El Paso for a Wicked Wine Run. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. We're we're feeling better. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's some sort of a mental block. Help us, help us get over this uh, mental block. Uh, but you know. So far, so good, and mm -hmm. uh, you know we we enjoy getting out there. We had fun today, yeah. and and it really is a gorgeous day. We can't yeah yeah we can't complain. No, it was perfect. Right. It ended up being perfect running weather. It was like 45, 50 degrees. Right. Sun's out, you know. And in case you're worried, yes, we've already had one beer, so uh, we're gonna <laughs> head off and get some more. <laughs> and um, uh, you know, it's. It's it's kind of neat because we have not done this uh, after our previous marathon. You mean keep running? Yeah, yeah. You should, yeah. You should, you we normally take a like, several yeah. month long break after a big race. Yeah. <laughs> so look at us go. Yeah, yeah. And I think, I think that might be part of why I'm having a hard time. Like, do I really have to get out and run 11 miles? Uh, I know we have a half marathon in a couple weeks, but. You know, it's yeah. not like we're we're on this big training plan to get to this big goal at the end. It's like, oh, I'm just running 11 miles for fun. That's great. <laughs> yeah, because you know, you know how it is. If uh, 28 weeks is a long time, and, and that's the amount of time you know you spend t typically, unless you are like super gifted in running, you can just do whatever. Uh, you know, 28 weeks and and you know Fridays or dry days, and you know, <laughs> so like afterwards, you just want to like you know go party um you know at home watching tv drinking beer this um, is our life. yeah and you're welcome you're welcome <laughs> to join us <laughs> sometimes we sit on the porch and do that <laughs> sometimes yeah. if the weather's just right we sit out on tiki porch but you know this is really cool stuff let us know what you're doing how you're doing you know if you're planning all, uh for anything because this is this is pretty neat actually a runner today passed us and oh, said yeah, hey that was nice hey it looks like you guys uh, are running long distance today what are you running and i said well we're gonna try to uh, finish 11th and uh he said well are you training for something and i said yeah well, we're gonna run a half marathon in fredericksburg he was like oh that's cool and, mm -hmm. and yeah, he's right. It is. It is. You know, it, it's, it's pretty neat. So yeah. we'll report back next week. Remember, we're uh, we're doing our best to upload a video every week. You know, you can like this one. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, <laughs> but, you know, hi to all our subscribers. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're, we're having a great time. And we hope you're having a great time doing what you're doing. And we hope that you enjoy watching this because... It's always <laughs> an adventure with you.